Hey everyone, have you been considering a new vice to work on your firearms? Welcome to Team Banch as I tell you about the experience that I've had with the real avid master vice over the past year. Whether you're an everyday gun owner, DIY gunsmith, or professional gunsmith, let me tell you why you might want to consider this as your next purchase. For years I used this four and a half inch vice that I bought at Lowe's. I used to put soft jaws on it to work on guns, but it had its limitations. It did the job, but it just wasn't, well, right. And then a year ago, I got this master vise from Real Avid. And let me tell you, this changed my life. One of the problems I had with the old vise was I could only work laterally, but that caused a lot of ergonomic problems. And sometimes you just can't work right that way. Now with this Real Avid, it has this ball. And I was really skeptical about a ball because a ball is not really a solid joint. But then I got a chance to work with one of these at SHOT Show 2020, and my mind was made up. This was gonna be my next vice. Now, the one thing I like about this ball is I can move my work around to anywhere I want. So if I wanna mount my gun here, I can clamp this shut, and then I can put my gun in or a barrel or whatever I'm working on right into the vice and I'm ready to go. And I told you I was very skeptical about this ball, but let me show you something. I'm about 270 pounds and I am leaning on this thing. And with my butt, I'm pushing up against my bench on the other side here. So I'm getting a lot of leverage in there that I'm actually moving this bench. So as you can see, this thing really does a great job. Now you have this torque pin. And what's great about this torque pin is you can put this in here and it locks this so that way you're not just relying on that ball. If you're just doing you know, something straight up or straight down, you can lock it in and really do some extra torque, like barreling a rifle. Now if I pull this out and put it onto the other side, I can mount this horizontally. Whether you're doing vertical or horizontal, you can use this torque pin to really lock this in place. And if you can see on the overhead here, that's where it's gonna go. So it's on every 90 degrees, I can lock this thing into place. Now this comes with a set of these gun fit jaws. There's a soft side and then a hard side where you can do barrels. If you're working on pistols, you can just put the soft sides in and then clamp your gun into this and have it in any direction that you want it. Now, a few months ago, I really wanted to see what this thing could do. And I actually locked in a barrel of this thing and then put a cheater bar on it. Now that does void the warranty, but I needed to know what this thing could do. I put that cheater bar on and really torqued this thing way beyond it should have. And this thing did not break. What I do have right now is there's a catch. So I bent that screw rod a little bit. Whereas there it's loose and there it's tight, loose, tight. And you get the idea, but that's the worst thing that happened. The other thing I like about this thing is if you're mounting a scope, you have a rifle here, getting this set perfectly level can be a little tough. So let's just say this rifle's in here. It's off just a little bit left or right. You have right here, you can see that. I can move this back and forth just a little bit to make sure that everything is level. With as great as this product is, there is a weakness. You have this shaft coming straight up and then this head mounts onto it. Works really great, except for there's a, just a little bit of a wobble in it. I'm gonna show you right here. You can see that right there. It's just off by a little bit. It's not awful but it can be a little annoying if you're really kind of working on some really super fine things. But honestly, I haven't come across a situation where that wobble has ever affected my work. Overall, this is an awesome product. That other vise barely gets used anymore. It gets used when this one has a gun mounted on it and I need to do something else while something's just finishing up there. But other than that, that thing sits right up in the top slot it very rarely moves. So if you're watching this on YouTube, click right there. That is the original review of this Master Vice and it goes through a lot of these features a little more in depth than this one year review. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there and I look forward to seeing you again soon.